Hello students, I am Sir Muhammad. In today's history lesson, I am going to talk about chapter 2, which is increased in Western interest in Brunei. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about James Brooke. Well, who is James Brooke? James Brooke was born in India in 1803. He was the son of Thomas Brooke, a judge of the High Court of India. In 1819, he joined the armed forces of the East India Company, where he saw action during the First anglo burmese War in 1824, in which he was seriously wounded. In 1829, he resigned from the East India Company, and with a small amount of money that his father left him, he bought a yacht called the Royalist, where he planned to travel to Southeast Asia to explore places like New Guinea, the Sulu Islands, and the Marudu Bay, intended for scientific research and commercial purposes with no political ambitions at all. James Brooke involvement in Brunei politics. James Brooke arrived in Singapore in 1838. There he learned that Sarawak was rich in a deposit called antimony ore, which is one of the substances used to make gunpowder. So he changed his plans and instead he want to exploit Sarawak for its natural resources. In 1839, James Brooke landed in Kuching. There he learned that there was a rebellion against Pingiran Indra Mahkota. Pingiran Indra Mahkota, the governor of Sarawak, was hated by the locals as he used forced labor to extract antimony ore. There was also a dispute between Pingiran Indra Mahkota and Pingiran Muda Hashim. Pingiran Muda Hashim was sent by Sultan Omar Ali Saifuddin II to help Pingiran Indra Mahkota to end the rebellion in Sarawak. But upon his arrival, Pingiran Indra Mahkota didn't personally greet him. This offended Pingiran Muda Hashim, resulting in tensions to develop between them. James Brooke realized that political divisions and internal strife would weaken Brunei's control over Sarawak. So in 1840, he made an agreement with Pingiran Muda Hashim. He agreed to help him end the rebellion in return that he would be appointed as the governor of Sarawak. In September 1840, using a combination of military and diplomatic pressure, James Brooke was able to defeat the rebellion in Sarawak. But then tensions developed between Pingiran Muda Hashim and James Brooke, as Pingiran Muda Hashim refused to grant pardon to the local Malay chiefs and Iban rebels. But when Pingiran Muda Hashim delayed the handing over of the governorship of Sarawak to James Brooke, James Brooke threatened to attack his residence. Helpless Pingiran Muda Hashim was forced to appoint James Brooke as the new governor of Sarawak. On July 31st, 1842, James Brooke sailed to Brunei to meet Sultan Omar Ali Saifuddin II. They signed the Treaty of July 1842 in which James Brooke agreed to pay an annual tribute of $2,550 to preserve the customs and religions of the people of Sarawak and not to separate Sarawak from Brunei without the Sultan's consent.